Welcome back to this series of Light Reading Fast Chats. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and joining me now is Ajar Saeed, Senior Director of Global Telco Technical Development with Red Hat. Ajar, thanks so much for joining us today for this Fast Chat. Thank you, Terry. It's, it's been my pleasure. Uh, of course, we're, we're talking about Mobile World Congress, uh, always a great place to do some temperature taking of the industry and also check in with customers. Let, let's start, if you could tell us just something that you learned during your time in Barcelona. Sure. Um, I think Mobile World Congress this year was pleasantly surprising to me with the 61,000 attendees and you've seen all the stats. Wow. It was very good to get back in front of customers face to face. Sure. And what I've seen is the hunger for you know a direct conversation in order to evolve their infrastructure was really there with the customers. And so what they so far they've been you know pontificating speculating thinking about you know how to do it what to do i think this time around what i felt for the first time really was it was real uh the transformation in terms of their infrastructure to new capabilities so whether they're going through a digitalization journey whether they're going through a you know network function deployment or you know cloud native deployment it was very real. It was it was almost a given. They wanted to now get their hands dirty. They wanted to get more and more from an aspect. Previously, it was much more aspirational. We need to do this. We are thinking about it. But now it's like, let's let's do this. How how do we do this? How do we? Do this? So it's not about conversation of, you know, if should we, but it was more about how do we, and you know, how do we get started. Right. What, what was something that surprised you at MWC? Something about the market, about 5G, some, some sure. aspect of mobility? In MWC this year, the main theme was connectivity unleashed. And with that, actually, we saw so many different vendors and providers talk about 5G and, and RAN. Um, Open RAN was a central theme across many, many different vendors. And there were so many different startups talking about that. There's so many different, you know, a large vendors talking about open RAM. In terms of 5G, I think there were some interesting demonstrations on use cases on 5G and Edge. Um, so overall, um, consistent with the conversation we had had earlier before MWC, I was expecting to see more 5G SA conversations. Absolutely, there were more 5G SA conversations. I was expecting to see more open RAM deployments coming up and sure enough, there was a lot of conversation around real open RAN deployment. How do they do that? Um, so I have, you know, I I took away from overall MWC as certainly something that cemented some of the conversations we've been having in the past, and something that allowed us to say, "All right, we really now need to put the pedal to the metal and move forward in this area." Um, but I think the other area in MWC this year was fintech. For the first time, they had a fintech event. Um, I think fintech is generating some interesting use cases for the mobile community, particularly around mobile payments. There's a lot of providers applying for banking licenses. So that was actually a new twist to MWC this year. And uh, that was actually fascinating to see the number of attendees, the number of people uh, in that area. Thanks for that. Um what about customers? Um, wh what can you say about where customers are with their own thinking about mobility in first quarter of 2022? So in countries where uh, there has already been a private 5G, I mean, so there has already been a 5G spectrum auction, they are really going gangbusters in terms of deployment. While in countries where there hasn't been an auction yet, those guys are also in sincerely preparing and planning and thinking about that. And because we were able to meet so many different, uh, you know, customers from different countries, from Asia PAC, from Europe, and even some of the Latin American, North American customers, there, there was a wide spectrum to be seen. So the enthusiasm for deployment for 5G was there, the learning that the, uh, to, to, to understand how things work, how things come together was there. And most importantly, what I saw was that people were trying to understand the scale challenge this brings, uh, the, the new 5G deployment brings. So moving from 5G NSA with LTE core and, and you know 5G new radio to 5G SA this year, and also how do you then build 
uh, a completely loosely coupled system and orchestrate that and, and do it at scale was actually the key theme and a key question that a lot of people were asking. Ajar, let's close by uh, getting your impressions of the industry's top priorities for the remainder of the year. So industry's top priorities, in my opinion, I think there was also some you know, conversations around metaverse, which, I, which is obvious uh, that, that you would hear mm -hmm. at an MWC. But in terms of priorities, I really see 5G RAN or open RAN needs to meet the expectations with respect to performance and with respect to scale of the industry. I was having a very interesting conversation with one of the providers in this end. Today, Open RAN can provide me a, um, can match the existing appliance model, which was to me news because people were saying, no, it still couldn't match that. But now the provider was saying it, it can match it, but now it needs to be better. It needs to be better from a point of view of power consumption. It needs to be better from the point of view of performance. And I think the partnership we are working with, with Intel on to actually improve on those areas will really help. So um, some other trends or directions that I think edge um, and the conversation around edge and the new use cases and different industry verticals, how they are coming together to build that with either with private 5G or with you know, public cloud presence at, the, at, at you know, their local regional locations and how you can light up those different use cases. In my opinion, those would be some of the focus areas, macro trends, if you will, uh, in terms of real deployments, not, no longer shop talk, but real deployments. Well, thanks for joining us for this fast chat today, Ajar. Interesting impressions about 5G, uh, Open RAN, and of course, Mobile World Congress. Thanks again for talking to us today. My pleasure, Terry. Thank you for inviting me. We've been talking with Ajar Saeed of Red Hat. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this Light Reading Fast Chat. We'll see you next time. Thank you.